Hey guys, I just want to talk about this uh, coronavirus and stuff that's going on, starting to develop. I honestly haven't been really concerned with it, and I'm honestly not concerned with the virus per se. But uh, I think everybody should take a step back and look and really think about what's going on and uh, how fragile uh, it seems like our society is. I think most of us uh, have always thought that, but to actually start seeing it is, uh, it's kind of eye-opening to be honest. Uh, I honestly think this coronavirus, you know, they're saying the the fear is is that it could manifest, I guess, into something worse. Uh, but it seems like it's not not going to. Uh, super contagious, but uh, hasn't really killed anybody. That's not order already, you know. Uh, on their deathbed damn near you know uh, and so the problem isn't the coronavirus in my eyes it's the leadership of this country um, and I'm a Trump supporter and you know kind of starting with him uh, when all of this started he kind of downplayed the coronavirus and was talking about how you know it really wasn't that big of a deal uh, per se uh, but he got scolded for it like he does on everything else you know and I think people probably got to him and the media has been pushing it and now I'm sure everyone in his group is telling him go ahead and go along with it that if you or to say that it's not dangerous then that's probably a, a good time for them to try to impeach him you know I'm sure they would say oh you're a danger to the nation or some crap you know so they've even got to him you know he's to the point to where you know he's recommending closing shit down and all of this you know and so the scary thing is is that the economy is probably going to take a massive hit you know I called into the radio station and talked to some of those guys in Tulsa just now and, and brought that up and they're playing something from uh, a guy in the government that said well our economy was doing the best it ever has and the banks are way better off it's like that's great but this is just starting and let's not forget, this virus hasn't really killed anybody. What happens when a virus comes along that actually kills people? I mean, we are screwed. And for all you liberals out there, idiots, wanting the government to run shit, they can't even get this right. And you want them to have their hands in, I mean... You see memes about it all the time, making fun of people that, oh, you want, you know, the government can't even, uh, you know, do good in the VA. And you want them to handle the, the entire nation's health care? But that's another topic. Uh, you know, some people, I have a family. I have small kids. My youngest is four. And I can't. You know, if you want to be the type of people, it's like, you know, if shit hits the fan, then I'll figure it out from there. That's fine. But I can't, I've got to be progressive with this stuff. You know, I went out and actually bought a bunch of survival books. Um, you know, wood, wood, uh, woodsmanship. And, I, you know, I've hunted and fished and, lived and been in the country all my life. But to sit and think that I could uh, survive you know not only on my own but survive and keep all of my family safe and healthy is a stretch you know I might could do it on my own but 
you know, I'm not a fool to think that, oh, I could do it if we had to today. Now, if you really think that and you've had no training and you don't really know much else than to how to bait a hook and uh, shoot a gun, you're going to be up shit's Creek uh, when you start really getting hungry and needing to build shelter and who knows what. Um, you know, we, and, and another thing, we kind of got it a little better off than other people because we kind of, we live out in the country. Uh, you know, if you live in the city, and so we can, we can kind of probably fortify our house and property even more to make it survivable, you know, until, unless all anarchy and just crazy shit just starts going down, we need to really head for deep woods. But if you're in the city, you're screwed. I mean, even if people aren't killing each other, which just look at Hurricane Katrina, the gang's taking over, you, I mean, you're probably going to die if you live in the city. You know, let's say that crazy shit doesn't even, doesn't happen with gangs and people killing each other. Uh, where are you going to find food in the concrete jungle? Uh, I mean, you going to catch you some pigeons? I don't think so. You're going to have the people that survive the city are the ones that don't live there. Move. Get out. But, uh, you know, a lot of people are probably going to look at this and say, oh, you're being extreme. And uh, that's overboard. Well, it's kind of like owning a gun. Which I'm sure the people that disagree with me on some of the points I've made now probably disagree with me on owning a gun as well. But it's like owning a gun. You own one, hope you never need it, but if you ever do need it, you're glad you got it. It's the same thing with uh, survival skills. You hope you never need it, and, but if you do, it could be the difference between life and death. And I try to look at things as logically as possible, as realistically as possible. And even if you aren't, if you don't care and think you got it, or whatever just you i'll just die you're either gonna have to commit suicide or you're gonna starve to death and i can guarantee you when you start to starve to death starve to death you're gonna give a shit then and you're gonna wish and pray to god you had something to eat so i guess my suggestion to everybody is just really start look looking at uh, brushing up on knowledge on how to survive out in the wilderness and how to trap and there's a lot of skills out there people lived off the land since the beginning of time and so we can do it you can do it but you're gonna need to know some basics at the very least and if you got a family man you got to do it for them If every, I mean, some people think that things are going to get a whole lot worse. I, I haven't thought that until now they're starting to shut a bunch of stuff down in my area. You know, and we've only had like 10 cases in the state. And I think, like I said at the beginning of this, if things get worse, it's not going to be because of the virus. It's going to be because of the economy collapsing. I mean, Trump just said earlier today they're going to try to get the Senate to pass $200 billion for relief to citizens. And I think they've got another bill, $300 billion for bailout help. So you're looking at $500 billion on top of the trillion or, or however many trillions we're in debt and mind you we were in debt with a booming economy now we're in debt and we're taking billions more out and we're we've got a stranglehold over the economy not let not letting anyone out shutting businesses down i mean oil rigs are freaking closing down the rig count is down you know i mean 
let's say let's say we jump back from all this what happens if we get a virus that's actually deadly I mean they they can't even control they're they're causing an apocalypse basically over a virus that hasn't even become deadly yet if it ever even will so imagine some shit that's actually deadly I mean you're an idiot if you don't think that that's not possible you're an idiot I'm just gonna say it you're an idiot now nowadays with all the shit that's going on you've got to think logically and you got to think about all the possibilities so that's even if we come back I mean that's it could be years before we come back from the uh, you know depending on how long everything shut down from the economy being shut down I mean this could really change a whole lot of things uh, and could you know get a whole lot worse before it gets better so I just suggest everybody stop talking about toilet paper and you know crying about stupid shit that you can't control and start thinking about surviving thinking about reality in the real world out there and the only way you're going to be able to do that is to start reading and educating yourself on surviving out in the wilderness surviving um, you know I bought some books um, I even got some military tactic books um, you know I've got uh, how to survive how to stay alive in the woods I've got the art of war you know it's more of a military strategy but hell if things hit the shit going to be you're going to want to know some strategies some war military strategies i've got the practical preppers complete guide to disaster prep prepping you know prepping books i've got some more crap in there but uh and we're going to read it all probably going to read it you know set aside every night and just the whole family sit down and read and try to educate everyone uh, because like I said, I've got a big family and it's it's not just about me. You're gonna have to it's it, it, to be on it, it, I can't even imagine having to ever use any of this stuff. but like I said, you'd rather be more prepared and have this knowledge rather than don't. Um, and so I, I hope anybody that, I know or that's watching this video thinks long and hard about the reality of the situation the reality of the world and what could happen so anyways guys uh, hope everything turns out to be nothing and everything gets back to normal and we're more prepared for if anything else happens in the uh, in the future which I'm sure there will be so time to pull your head out from under the rock and start living progressively and start thinking about the future and how to combat crazy shit. So anyways, that's all guys and uh, appreciate you watching the video and I'll talk to you later on.